Okay, let me tell you the story. So there was this particular organization or church that I was a member of. No? So I had a, a, a lady that I loved among the members of the group or of the church in particular. So this is what this this, this is what happened. No? So I love the lady, in other words, I am I had uh, some rela not, not really relationship. I loved him in other words that uh, we're not we're not dating, we didn't date in particular, but as they can say she was my crush and obviously on our side it was almost the same thing, but we never really dated at all. We never dated at all. So me personally I don't play on the pulpit of God. You get me why am I saying this? I don't play on the pulpit of God at all, at all, at all, at all. So if uh, if there's something about somebody, you won't see me playing and using the name of God regarding that person, not at all, you know? So, so because of that, every single girl in particular, that I would... Uh, knowing that, that I would know that I, have, I love that girl or she's my crush or I'm her crush or something like that. I would never try and go and pray for the lady or I would never try and go and prophesy to the lady or do anything or just go and say, oh, I heard the voice of the Lord. No, I don't do that. So I, I would talk to the person, obviously outside the, the church service but i would never use the platform of god or the name of god to do such stuff okay so there was a time the leader of this organization that i'm talking about or this church every time i would prophesy to people you know and pray for people so i would just keep her this particular lady because i know why i would just keep, why i don't prophesy to her so on this particular day the lady said you never prophesy to this to this to, to sister so and so i was like oh man oh man oh my oh my she said you never prophesy to this sister i'm like oh yeah but i pray for her she's okay i said i can pray for her she said no prophesy to her oh my because i knew that prayer is not a problem i would just put my hand on her and speak what i want to see you know so by the way this uh accident this happened to me two times two times I'll tell the other one. So the first, this one, the first one, then she told me that you have to pray for her. Naturally, you have to prophesy to her. I was like, oh man, if she can only know that I don't want to prophesy to this person, I'm doing it by people. So this is what happened. Listen. Then in front of everybody, in front of everybody, everybody's watching and I have to prophesy to this particular person. Just imagine. So the person uh, stood up in front of everybody then I had to prophesy to the person. Then I started, I said, oh, I can't hear anything. <laughs> I, I couldn't hear anything. How can you hear something? So I thought, I said, oh my, oh my, what, what am I gonna say? Uh, I said something at last because everybody was watching me, was looking at me. I said, uh, sister, sister so-and-so, uh, God wants you to must know that he loves you. <laughs> God wants you to know that he loves you. <laughs> people were like, I was like, no, I, and I even emphasized it because people were amazed. I said, you must understand, that's the highest level of, of the prophetic. Because it comes from the word of God, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. So I said, God loves you because I knew that it's scriptural. So I knew that I won't get wrong in the prophetic. I won't be faking it because I'm just saying the scripture that God loves you, my sister. That was the prophecy. <laughs> then people were shocked. I prayed for her. She went, she went back to her seat. Okay. Let me try another one. Another one, it, it happened. I was invited to a certain church also. When I was invited to that church, so uh, they were they, the same thing. There was this lady of that particular church who I loved. And let me say it again. When I say I loved, I don't mean like we're in a relationship. Not at all. I was not in a relationship with her, but just somebody that I... You know, that you see that oh, the, the sister is beautiful and I feel attracted to her. I feel like I should use that word. I, the lady that I felt attracted to her. Because when I say love, people 
think of something else in their head. So the lady I thought I tried to uh, teach you, she also, because we used to speak and so on. So, but we never dated, we we're not that close, uh, you know. Like we never met on the streets or something. There was no dating part. Okay. So at, at that service, you know, I was in the spirit. I said, I can prophesy to everybody in, in the room. This one, it was worse because I'm the one who made it. You know, I said, I can prophesy to everybody in this room. Anybody who wants the prophecy, let him come. You know, so people came, you know, people wanted to hear a prophetic word. I prophesied to everybody. Well, actually, when people came, they made a queue. When they made a queue, I saw her immediately. I was like, oh my. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I have to plan from the beginning. Oh, I said, uh, there was no problem because she was uh, like at, at the back, at the back line. So I started prophesying to people, praying, praying to people, prophesying to people. It was a queue. Then uh, I, and when it came to her, I wanted to plan it to skip her. Then I just uh, intervened the queue. I wanted somebody else just to skip her, you know, to skip her. I remember when then it was, they, they were left with one other person. I don't, know, I don't remember if it was a male or a female, but it was only two people who were left. So, when there were only two people with the person, so I was like, oh my, I have to just finish prophesying to her so I can just finish this thing because I've been skipping here. Just imagine. So, I, when, I, when I arrived to her, then I was like, oh, what am I going to say to her? Because remember I told you that I don't usually prophesy to such people. So I, I said to her, oh, my sister, what I'm seeing is that God bless you. God is... <laughs> God is gonna bless you. God loves you. That's all. <laughs> Just imagine. God bless you. God loves you. That's the prophecy. That's all. I pray for her. Then I prophesy to somebody. Accurate prophecies. Uh, pray for the person and so on. So that, that that's the story. And it happened for two in two different occasions uh, to two, two different people. Amen. So I believe we are blessed by the stories that I gave you of how I experienced challenges also in my life as a young pastor. And I believe these stories that I said before are made for you to learn that as a young person, we have all have challenges. You can experience challenges, but the most important thing is that we overcome. We overcome. Amen. So make sure you join me on the next episode. And I'm going to tell you another story, another deep one, a deep, a deep, a deep one. And how did I overcome it? I believe you are blessed and you love this video. Please comment below. Give me your question and I'll answer your questions. Like the video, share it with somebody. May God bless you. Signing out. See you next time. Pastor Praise. I love you. God bless you.